Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1964 shilling with the English crest from the reign of Queen Elizabeth II. The coin we can see here on screen now. I will first go through the design of the coin and then move on to the facts and figures. So we begin with the reverse here, which depicts a lovely ornate crown above a shield, an English shield bearing the three lions of England. This is designed by William Gardner, whose initials WG you can see to the bottom of the shield. To the side of the shield is the date, 1964. Below this is the wording one shilling, giving us the denomination or value of the coin. And then to the top there, in Latin, is part of the legend, which reads fid death, or in English means defender of the faith, and is in reference to Queen Elizabeth II. Around the rim we can see small teeth, milling or beading, preventing the coin from being clipped or shaven. Moving over to the obverse of the coin, we can see a portrait here of the young Queen Elizabeth II. This is her first portrait, as designed by Mary Gillick, and sees the young queen facing to the right, with her hair up and a laurel wreath in her hair. Around her is the rest of the legend, once again in Latin, and this time reading Elizabeth II de Gratia Regina, meaning in English this time, Elizabeth II by the grace of God, Queen, so showing that she's been chosen to be queen by God, as was the tradition for monarchs. Now we can see a small cross there to the top, bulking out the legend and filling in some space, and then finally, around the rim again, once again, we can see small teeth, milling or beading, preventing clipping. So there's the design of the coin, and now on to the facts and figures. So this shilling was minted at the Tower Hill Mint in London, where the Royal Mint was based between 1810 and 1975. The coin is composed of a cupro-nickel alloy, which is 75% copper and 25% nickel, with the two metals used in the alloy of this coin. The weight of the shilling was unchanged since 1816, under George III at 5.65 grams, and the diameter again unchanged since 1816 at 23 millimeters. The medium sized coin. The mintage for this year of shilling is 8,590,900, so very, very common. Although this isn't actually one of the most common mintages, they're usually over 10 million, but still very, very common for this era. And the shilling coin, of course, is a 12 pence piece, which is one shilling or one twentieth of a pound sterling. And back in 1964, one shilling was equal to £1.27 today. So a good bit of buying power for this one coin, considerably more than a pound coin has today. And the coin was demonetized in 1990 after serving as a five pence for a while after decimalization. Now then, moving on to the value of the coin today for a collector. It'll sell for around 25 pence in poor condition, around 40 pence in fine condition, 75 pence in extremely fine condition, and one pound in uncirculated grade. As you can see there, a very, very affordable coin, very, very cheap indeed if you're looking to get one, and comment down below if you do already have one in your collection. So there we go. Although cheap and a very affordable coin, a nice one to own nonetheless. So of course, please subscribe if you've enjoyed, and thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon for some more coins in the future on Bits and Bobs. Bye for now.